guys, Danielle here. So today I want to show you how to turn your old shirts into cute workout shirts. I made this shirt this morning. Um, basically, I just made a slouch top with it. And I went to the thrift store uh, earlier today and got some new shirts that I want to turn into workout clothes. The shirts are only like 77 cents, which is by far cheaper than any workout top you can buy in a store. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is place your shirt on a nice flat surface and try to get the wrinkles out. And what I do is I cut one inch from the seam of the arm. So right here, this is the arm, and here's the neckline. And I just cut one inch from this seam right here. I usually like to use my finger as a guide. I'm not big on things having to be absolutely perfect, so I kind of like the, the kind of cut up look. So one inch, so I'm just going to place my finger right here, and then I'm going to just cut. Just a little cut right here to mark my spot. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Turn it around. Okay, so now I have both my cuts. These are going to be my markers to tell me, you know, where to start uh, my line that's going to go all the way down. So basically what I'll do now is I'm going to cut the seam right here that goes from my cut to the neckline. So now you see that I've got that cut right here. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we've opened up the neck right here. And I want the back to be higher than the front. So that's the only that's the reason why I cut it there. So now I'm gonna start cutting it for the front and do my swoop all the way down. And you can determine, you know, how far down you want to go. So I'm just going to cut. A lot of people like to put, um, use seamstress chalk, I think, or, uh, or an ink pen or something so that they can mark it. It makes it a little more even. I just, like I said, I kind of like it not so put together. I'm just going to cut all the way down and all the way around here. Okay, so I have the front done. And you can see the, the cut right here that I made. So I still have my logo here. The cut is here. And now to cut the back part. Like I said, I want it to be higher than the front. So I'm going to probably start it here, because if I want to cut off this, so I'm just going to cut it all the way around. So now I have my cut in the front, and my cut in the back. You can clean this up. And you can also cut off the seams here on the sleeves. I would try it on first before you do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on and then determine if I wanna cut the, um, the sleeves off. Hey guys, okay, so I tried it on and I decided to go ahead and cut the sleeves um, at the seams just to loosen it up uh, a little bit more. It's really simple. You just follow the line 
It's already on the shirt. It's right here. The line that's just right there already on the shirt and you'll just cut it right along that line. Okay, and then you'll do the other side. And you want to make sure it's nice and, and flat. I'm just And that's it. Now you are ready to rock your new slouch tee. All right. So here's the finished product. As you can see, that was super, super easy. And I found this tutorial helpful.